Hello and welcome back to the letter. So it's like what the third episode of my game playthrough and we're still on the first chapter that is Isabella. Um anyway, so we're just gonna continue where we left off and hopefully finish off one whole section of the game. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, we finish off this part because I have a strong feeling that this is the Rebecca bit. I'm not really sure. Either that or this or maybe both of them apply for the whole Rebecca bit. And then we will get back to a common route. So maybe like, you know, once we come here, it's like a signal to me that, hey, we are at a common route and I will go back and do the meeting with the priest and the other option. I'm saying meeting with the priest because that's the option I've unlocked. I do not know what the other one is going to be called as, but whatever. We'll come back here and then we'll do the whole thing again. Interesting, I got a knock. Isabella? Are you... are you in there? Hmm. Oh, wow. One second. We saw this whole thing, man. What's so new now? We saw this whole thing. Fine. Happy. Yeah. And this also we saw. Anyways. Hey. Hey there. Mind if I come in? No, uh, clearly not. I knew you missed dinner. I picked this up on my way home. Thought you'd like one too. And why is it so dark in here? Were you sleeping when I knocked? Not really. I was just thinking. About? Did you rearrange things again? Where are the plates? Clear your yard. Can't you see that? With the instant noodles. Stuff. The cupboard to your right. Top shelf. It's pork? Are you sure you want to eat this? <sighs> Don't look at me like I'm feeding you poisonous stuff. I know, but pork? You <sighs> I don't hate it. I just <sighs> I don't like eating it on a regular basis. I can always burn it off with a few hours of jogging. Why are you being picky about this? You're the one who doesn't even gain weight no matter how much or whatever you eat. I was just asking. You threw a fit when I used pork in your stovies that one time. It wasn't a good day to eat that? And what about you? You don't seem to be having a good day either. This afternoon? Well, Isabella, what happened? About yesterday, during Zack's movie, things didn't end well, and I guess, no, let me rephrase that. I just want to say I'm sorry. We're sorry. We were pretty harsh. Don't 
bother. Are you going to tell me about it? Does it matter? It does. I think so, yeah? How do you expect people to listen to you if you keep avoiding questions? I wasn't... I'm not asking you to listen to me right now, am I? <sighs> now you're just being a child. I'm 26. You're the one who came here to bring me food I didn't ask for. You're not even eating it yourself. And it doesn't even taste that good. It's too spicy. I bet you don't even like it. And... and Are you done? <sighs> You're an awful friend. <laughs> Feeling better? Not entirely, but thanks. I'm being petty, aren't I? We both are. <laughs> Figures why we're friends, right? So, are you going to tell me about it? What's the point? Isabella, the point is... Yesterday! I spoke about it yesterday, didn't I? But nobody believed me. I kept repeating and repeating and repeating myself, but none of you took my word for it. Because none of it sounds realistic. Yet you're here asking about it. What do you really want? Because I need to know where you're coming from. I like how they came to the conclusion about the friendship. I mean, that's like literally what I've been saying all this time. So I'll just do this negative part first, then I'll go for positive. I mean, what else? Tell me everything. Don't leave anything out, you hear me? You really? Is it the same? This afternoon? When you... I've never heard you scream like that. She was there. She? Who is she? I'm missing a lot of things here, Belle. Her! The ghost! She's just there! Standing... On the streets? I don't... On the window! I... It's her face when she looks at me. It's here, stuck in my head. I can't shake it off. There are... There are voices. Shadows asking for help. I don't know how... I don't know what she wants from me. Lord, I don't even know how to help myself right now. I'm sorry. I didn't know this has been bothering you like this. Why are you apologizing? Look at you! This isn't the Isabella I know. Any other day, you'd bounce back. You got what you wanted today. Your dad's gonna be okay. And yet here you are. Zack can tell. I'm sure Ash can as well. <sighs> I'm probably the only one thinking of selfish reasons the day before. Where exactly is this coming from, Becca? S certain things. I it's nothing. <laughs> Don't get worked up about it. Anyhow, I should go. Try not to think about it, alright? You need your rest. I'll be next door if you need me. Do you want me to stay? Can you? Just until I fall asleep? <laughs> what are you, five? Please. I really, really, absolutely don't want to be left alone right now. I tried to sleep earlier. Last night, too. I thought a shower would help today, but it's still in my head. <laughs> what am I going to do with you? Thank you, Becca. No thanks. My brain needs a break, too. <laughs> you are such a big baby.
Thank you, Becca. No thanks. My brain needs a break too. In any case, I won't be able to function properly here. How can you work in this place? I just do! Hey, I don't say anything about your room. That's because it's clean. Of course there's nothing else for you to comment on. Hey, I clean too. Once a week. Or month. Telling the truth. Is this it? Um, well, yeah, duh. Oh, yeah, definitely. And once I'm done with this new part, I'll just skip right ahead. Looks like we are close enough to go back. Sorry, I wasn't able to get a good look at it when Ash was holding it yesterday. It isn't like it'll make a difference. Where did you even buy this? The attic. Attic where? The mansion? You know, this might have a historical significance. I doubt it. It was on the floor when I saw it. So a prank, then? It's not a prank! That's the same thing I was telling you yesterday! Then tell me what happened! I can't understand where you're coming from if you keep giving me short, clipped answers! That's like a big Rebecca boost. Please? You really want to hear it? You are such a big baby. Oh my god, we got a Rebecca maxed out friendship meter. <gasps> That's a good one. Anyways. Move over. I know how we'll fix this. What are you doing? Oh. Singing you to sleep like the big baby you are. Oh, wow. Oh, I may wow. not be as good a singer as you are, but I can handle a few tunes. Nice. You look so pretty here, Rebecca. Stop treating me like a kid. This is completely unnecessary. Interesting. I'm kidding. Didn't you say this is how your mom used to lull you to sleep? I just thought you could use something familiar to you. You're not my mom. How are they back home? You said they called? Good. From what Mama told me, EJ won a medal. Who's EJ again? The youngest. A bit chubby on the cheeks. I showed you a picture of him once. You said he looks a little like me, especially around the eyes.
Santos residence? Mama, how are you? What about you? Are you eating well? You asked that a few days ago, but yeah. And Mama, I've got something to tell you. Oh no, you're not pregnant, are you? What? No! Mama, stop making jokes like that. This is a serious question, Grace. I've been looking at your face now. Who is this Ashton? Are you pregnant? Who? Ash? No, no, no! Oh, good heavens! It isn't like that! We aren't like that! No one's pregnant, Mama! Well then, stop stalling! You're making me nervous, Grace. Remember the house? We got a buyer yesterday. I'll be able to send a remittance soon. The buyer gave us a bonus, too. I can send that early while- Grace, Grace, stop! Yes, Mama? It's okay. Keep it to yourself. You don't have to send everything. Don't worry. I've got enough here. You taught me how to budget properly, didn't you? Don't you want to buy something for yourself? Or for your friend? Rebecca, was it? Rebecca will complain, Mama. Then tell her it's from me, as thanks for taking care of my stubborn daughter. <laughs> you both sound so alike. But I will. Thanks, Mama. at me like that. I can act graceful as well if I want to. Well, where's your owner anyway? Well, if you don't have one, I won't be able to take you in. My apartment doesn't allow pets. I tried to bring one home before, a cat, not black, of course. <sighs> and Rebecca threw a fit before the landlady could. D do you want one? Barufia! I'm sorry. Did my cat hurt you? Miss Santos, was it? I'm surprised to see you here. Nice to meet you again, Miss Makala. Were you harmed in any way? I'm sorry. Brufiel's not exactly fond of other people. Even run away from the veterinarian right now. Oh no! He was just sniffing my hand earlier. My Brufiel's a she. Actually surprised you have a cat, Miss Macala. And why exactly is that? There are a lot of people who have pets. Yeah, but not a black one. I'm amazed you're taking care of one. I don't understand what you're trying to get at. Is there a problem with my cat? No, not at all. She's very sweet. Just in other cultures, aren't they a sign of bad luck? Nothing has happened to me so far.
This is a good place to stop and end this conversation, don't you think so? It is good to see you again, Santos. Um, I'm just curious about, about your work. What about it? I, I just want to know how it is to work on a house like the Ermengarde Mansion. Is it hard? Because of its age? I wouldn't say it is. It is a challenge considering the factors me and my team have sought out. But it's a good project. A breath of fresh air from what I usually work on. Those original fittings though. It might be old, but the architecture is magnificent. I'm sure you've seen the stained glass windows in the foyer. Oh, I can already think of so many things I could do with it. But of course, my team will have to double check for necessary repairs here and there. That's probably for the best. It's easy to break some key elements with a rush restoration job and who knows what other hidden issues there might be underneath. People can be so careless. I'm sorry, I spoke too much. No, it's okay. You seem to really love what you're doing. It's not really like that. I'm just lucky to have found work in an interesting field. Uh, anyway, Bruthiel's due for her visit to the vet. Nice talking to you, Miss Santos. I wish you luck with what you're planning to work on. It seems like a big project, too. It's a project for a friend, actually. All the same. Good luck. By the way, about the Irmingard Mansion, with my clients, it's the rights, I mean. I hope you don't mind me asking, but... Has the deal been finalized? There's still a few papers they need, but the house is more or less theirs now. Ah, uh, thank you. That's all I needed to know. Wait, I... about the mansion. The, uh... D don't mind me. I, I need to go too. Have a good day, Miss McCullough. You know what, uh, so yeah, so we'll just continue with the other route, yeah? Let's, uh, no, I didn't say just take it. Let's stay for the movie. So we got a ticket for Rebecca, so we'll get a plus for Zach and for Ashton, which which is good. Um, Rebecca, not so much, which feels sad now that I know that if I chose, you know, I got like, the full max, but maybe we'll get a chance later. Who knows? 
so yeah so we are like going on with this side of the branches now yeah and then at the question point I will go for this shoot and we'll finish off with this because I'm pretty sure it makes a difference at uh, whatever this point is like it will come here and affect things before we get back to our common route Um, which part looks like a repeti repetition, I'm just gonna skip it. That's what I would do anyway, so. If we keep arguing here, we're going to miss the first few minutes. All right, that's the Isabella I know. Oh, good. I thought for sure you were going to cry. Ah, oh, that's why we get a huge ash minus. Okay. <clears throat> what was that for? Stop calling me a crybaby! I'm not one! Aw, oh, don't cry. Rebecca doesn't look too happy. And since we were in the previous route, we know Stop that it! she's feeling upset or jealous possibly about something. Okay, scaredy cat then. Well, I hadn't commented on that part, but it seemed that like That too! It. If you repeat that, I swear I'll... <sighs> Let's just go. Yeah, see? So, uh, you guys go catch up with her. I'll go get us the food, I promise. But you'll miss it! Didn't you say watching a movie without food ain't fun? And <laughs> it ain't like I haven't seen it. I made it, remember? <laughs> I'll be in there soon. Okay. It's just Ash and Isabella now. And then? Are you sure it wasn't one of the cleaning crews? Ah, see, Isabella's telling the story. Most likely. Absolutely sure. That's why we have a positive relationship with them because I told them the story. And not Rebecca. Hmm. Interesting. And Zach brought it up. And then I ran. You heard what happened after. I still think it's something else. It was standing right in front of me, Ash. He's a skeptic. I heard what you said, but it's a small room. There are a lot of things someone else could have done there without your knowledge. If I could see it up close, maybe I can... I am not going back there. Ain't that a problem if you're hosting an open house? Rose does the first floor tour. I ain't sure ghosts can be restricted to one room, Bella. Ah, uh, see, this just reasserts the fact uh, about what I feel that Zach and Isabella are pretty much similar. There like, are no ghosts, Zach. Stop putting useless ideas in her head. Yeah, but I was thinking, maybe all the house needs is a blessing. Wasn't it left uninhabited for years? <laughs> I didn't peg you as the religious type, Zack. I know, after all. Look who's the one who's wearing a cross. Nothing like that, Ash. Who knows, though? It might bring something positive to the place. That's not a bad idea. I just don't know where I could find someone. You're not seriously considering his suggestion, are you? Do you have a better idea? I know where. I could contact him for you if you want. You do that? Or we can find you a psychologist instead. <laughs> a psychologist. Ash, that is not a very appropriate thing to say right now. Thank you, Ash. Uh, no, Zach. wait, that's not what I meant. And he's back to Ash. <laughs> ethnographer. I meant ethnographer. This guy's a psychologist too, of course, if you... Ashton, if you don't stop... Rebecca knows the guy I'm talking about too. She can vouch for him. Huh? What? Oh, are you talking about Professor Andrew? He used to work with my parents at the university. Can you guys keep it down? Sorry, the scaredy cat here mentioned curses. 
Not that I'm saying this is one, but talking to him is a better solution for me than getting a random priest to bless an old house. He'll even help you figure things out, teach you a couple things. A rational way to solve things. And I... probably put your fears to rest, since this looks to be bothering you a lot. Ah, you do care. Of course you would. So, what do you think? So, I have to have a correction for the relationship, which I thought. That is how they perceive me, but it's how I perceive them too. It's like both. Anyways, um, so in case it's not obvious, we have to choose now. It's your call. We'll go with whatever you want. I don't know. I... We're both pretty chill, so it means that they're not going to take offense to whatever I say. I can see we've got the Professor Zach's pretty cool. He's going to respect my decision. I say, please. Ah, he's going to respect it. But it'll be a boost for whosoever choice I take. Most definitely. So, um, at this branching tree, where are we? Here. I chose the priest option because in case it isn't obvious since I've been saying it since before I find Ashton a pretty cool character and I want and I see something going on between uh, Isabella and Ash and I want to explore that so I'm keeping that for last because I want that to be my main focus for the route so keeping that for the end so I'm just going to continue with the priest yeah I'm pretty sure I saved it the first time around yeah here we can ditch the movie thing so that's pretty cool so we'll just go and meet with the priest i'll think about it but maybe we could go with zach's idea i'm not so sure about that wait what well it wouldn't hurt to try right if it doesn't work it doesn't work at least we did something then just stand around i'll let you know when he's available bella thanks zach i knew i could count on you guys i said Keep it down! You keep insisting that we still watch it, yet you're not even paying attention yourselves! It ain't a big deal, Rebecca. I'm the one who broached the subject in the first place. It's still your film, Zachary! A good film, mind you! You worked hard on this! The least we could do is watch it with you! And that's what you're all doing! I really appreciate all of you making time for this. Sorry, Becca. We'll stop now. Hmm, okay. So maybe we do have the talk with Rebecca later on. I'll be glad if that's the thing. So, considering Ashton's early recent remark, I thought we'll have a negative Ashton, but we didn't. So it's like I thought, uh, Zachary's positive and Ashton's the same. Uh, we just need to find a way to boost Rebecca's thingy up though. But damn, that's a big drop. It's like the Marian. Marianne uh, drop we got with the cat discussion that time. Damn. Okay, so Ash hasn't told us about his big thing, but he left with Zack, so maybe that's how he tells Zack about it. Aww. Thanks for today, everyone! No problem, Zack. I'm sorry for what happened earlier. Huh? Ooh. Those whispers. Nice. I like how they just smile like at me. And I can just hear those whispers. The fact that this thing helped me with the whispers, I wonder. If we can do something to save the ghost. I mean, like, what kind of a ghost is it? No, Spirit. not me. Isabella? Earth to Isabella? 
Weren't you listening? Are you coming with me? Oh, I... yeah. Just... okay. Sorry. I spaced out. You always do that. So you got some other time? Y yeah see ya! <gasps> okay, I think this part seems to be the same so just skipping mama's call love you blah blah rose calls me we go to the office things happen we meet hannah they have so proud they give us money we're rich now we're happy yay uh ashton's not calm oh no not ashton okay we took up with zach zach Becca! Well, you seem to be in a better mood yeah, today. Yeah. I know that smile, Belle. Come on, still! D don't rush me! Let's order food first, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can skip all the way to our choices. Yeah, I mean, considering everything, I have chosen. Wait a minute. What is this? What are we missing in the Ashton's not here thing? Interesting. Was it something which would happen if we had like Ashton or something? I'm curious. That. Hmm. Anyways. Instant noodle is over. Let me do that again. We need everything on a positive note. And we need this Rebecca line to go up. I need my best friend to be a higher than Zachary and Marianne. Although I really did feel that Zachary is more of a best friend. Guess what, guys? I'm pain! I yeah. saw we saw you sold the house. We know that, honey. Okay. Okay, we're done with that. What's is there any difference here? At this point, uh, Rebecca had come last time, right? I mean, in the previous branch. So maybe now we'll get a call or something from Zach. Yeah, she's all concerned about it going after people and stuff. Hey, Zach. Oh, good. I thought for sure you're not gonna pick up. Sorry, it took me a while to find my phone. And you look super cool on that phone. Damn, nice icon. Nice to No you. worries! You game tomorrow? Did I forget something? Remember that guy I told you about? Uh, back in the movies? The, uh, priest? For the blessing? Aw, oh, he seems so confused. Does it ring a bell? That's so sweet. Yeah, I remember. Is he... is he fine with it? Uh, my friend doesn't mind. We're lucky he's not busy. So, tomorrow, he'll meet us at the mansion. Okay. Sorry for the trouble, Zach. Hey, no problem. I'm the one who suggested it to begin with, and, well, this afternoon you did surprise us. Never seen you scream like that. You scared the hell out of Rebecca. <laughs> I guess I owe you a lot for this, huh? <laughs> nah, we're cool, we're cool. You had us worried, but I know you'll tell us about it eventually. I just want to make sure you're doing well. You left all of a sudden, and you're not answering any of our calls. Anyway, I got 
gotta go. I left something on the stove before making this call. Just soup. But it'd be embarrassing if I burned soup. I doubt it. Ashton, on the other hand. <laughs> well, remind, <laughs> remind me to tell you about what he did with the pressure cooker next time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn, it overflowed! What the interesting stories are there? I like the side stories. The body in the car. Really need to get going. Bye, ah, Bella. And there was another one. I forgot what it was. Something about the work, I guess. Damn, the side stories which they won't tell us seem more interesting. I mean, even this is interesting, it's a whole lot interesting, but but you get the point. The Marian part is like a common route itself. So when we reach the cat, yeah, we'll go back and take the true route for me. It's not the true true route. Okay, I'll call it the my route, I guess. I haven't called my mama to tell her about the whole situation. Didn't get teased about the pregnancy thing or anything. I can't forget that. Or was that later? Could have been later. Mm. Anyways, we'll see. Interesting, that's the priest. Everyone's hard to read for you, Isabella. Oh, don't be surprised. They say people who have found their calling are getting younger these days. S sorry father I didn't mean to say that out loud. No offense taken, though I admit I'm a bit surprised. I didn't think someone would ask this house to be blessed after all these years. You've heard of it, father? In passing. The occasional rumors and talk by the locals, nothing new. You don't spend years serving the church here without hearing a random hearsay here and there. You never mentioned what you thought of those, father. Ah, but he who goes down to the grave does not come up. He shall never return to his house, nor shall his place know him any more. What? But what I saw... May not be what you think. It depends entirely on what you mean by it. If you're talking about spirit beings, angels, demons, then yes. Are we talking about the spirits of people who have departed? The word makes it clear that once the deceased has left us, they are gone. <laughs> but of course... I didn't come here to bore you. No, it was enlightening, Father. Thank it's you. So enlightening that uh, enlightening that I had to just skip through that. Just remember that a god who loves his children would never let them linger once the time comes. Sure. That's what my papa often tells me. Your father must be a good man. Well then, shall we? Regardless of what it is, I'm sure the mansion's new owners would appreciate such sincere intentions. From a stranger, no less. I guess. Hey, you okay? Hmm. And back here, we are, to, we are on to options. Uh... Well, we don't need this anymore. Let's see. Ah, uh, not journal. 
I want you to look at the branch. It's like a cheat code right now. Interesting. Okay. That place gives me the creeps. This is what I would go with because. Oh no! No, 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 no. We're not, we're not done now. Um, that's what I will go for. So for now, we'll just click. It's nothing. It's a negative sack. Okay, proper. So we are on the right track. I like that my thoughts were pro Zack. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing, Zack. Aye, if you say so. But tell me if you ain't feeling well. We don't have to go through with this if you don't want to. Again, uh, like what I had done with Rebecca, I'll just continue if there's any difference. We'll see the changes. If there's no difference... Thanks. I will. Uh, but... You can just skip. I think I still need to see this through. Besides, I'll be the one to blame if someone sees you there without me. I really don't want to get in trouble with my boss. <laughs> Bad, huh? You have no idea. Okay, come on. Let's get this over with. Is something the matter? No, I, I... I'm sorry, Father. I think I left the key... Careful, Bella! We have spoken with the current owners. Well, technically, you're not yet the owners, but... Ow, 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 my back! I thought I heard Rose. What the? Isabella? Yeah, see? Well, we always meet in the most interesting circumstances. Lady, this is like the third time I'm meeting you. The first time was due to work. Hardly interesting. Although, something interesting did happen later on the letter, but... Well, anyways, second time was when we were doing paperwork. A complete understatement, darling. I still don't get it. What are they doing in my house? Oh, wow. Oh, he's against the man. I thought you said you wanted to do paperwork duty. What are you doing here? I, uh, the reason why I'm here? Well, spit it out, Lily. We don't have all day. He called me Lily. I'm just here to make sure everything is fine before you move in. I'm sorry, I'm focusing on the fact that he called me Lily. Is this all like normal? I mean, can I just go pro Zach and just continue on with the positive Zach note then? Looks like it's all part of the normal route. Ah, who cares? We'll continue this way. I can always skip after all. Oh, the house appears impeccably fine to me. Oh wow, oh wow. I'm going to like Luke a whole lot more if he actually does that. <laughs> Come on, little Lily. Lying doesn't do that cute little face any justice. I see. He still likes to play along with me over here. I'm a very patient man. Now, why are you really here? Uh, that's a plus point for you if you really are patient. I feel like there's some sort of a joke going on there for him, which none of us seem to get. Not yet, anyways. Not for a long time, considering that his is like the um, very last one in the game. Yeah. 
Damn it, the interesting characters for the end. The truth, the truth is I was just thinking we could have the house blessed b- before move-in day. And why would we ever need to have this house blessed? F- for luck and protection? <laughs> That's rich coming from you. When we saw Devlin Court, you didn't. It's a small custom back home. I thought it would be nice to do something that would bring positive energy to the mansion since this place has been empty for years. And the papers, Isabella? I hope you did those first before this. Of course I did. It's almost done, in fact. But there are some items I still have to double check before finalizing everything. You know I don't sign without a thorough inspection. And well, this is what this is for too. I just thought it would be more efficient to do both at the same time. Here I thought you didn't want to go back. A job is a job, Rose. Gotta do what you gotta do to make a living. Ah, that dialogue makes us come back. Oh, well if that's the case, then go ahead. No need to be so hard on her, Rosie. I personally think it's a nice touch. I was actually thinking of the same thing, but you beat me to it. Darling, Buttercup, please. You know these things don't work. So Buttercup is not an endearment. It's another flaw name, isn't it? So, I mean, he can't call her anything else. She is Rose, and Rose is already a flaw. So we got Rose, we got Buttercup, and we have Lily. No offense meant to the holy man, of course. That does not explain the nigger, though. Bro, what? Don't tell me you're racist. You, ju- you just got like 10 plus 10 plus 10 points in my book. Then don't give yourself negatives. Please take that back. Lucille Mitchell Wright. Oh my god, is that his full name? Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I liked your name when I thought it was Luke, right? Lucille Mitchell. I have no issues with Mitchell. I have no issues with Lucille. Lucille's a lovely name, mind you. Is Lucille a male or female name? That's the only question. I, I thought it's a feminine name unless I'm mistaken and it's a male name. That's something I am not sure of. Hmm. Anyways. What? I like this. I'm pretty sure we got them, we gave them like some negative points there for relationship. Or maybe not. I will know because I am not doing this route for the next chapters. I'm sure she knows what she's doing, love. She got us the house, remember? Who knows what a little positive vibe can do? It could even give us what we've been eagerly waiting for all these years. The kid. What have we been waiting for? I don't think I was ever informed of. Aw, uh, I think it's a kid. Nothing you should worry about right now. Oh my god, that's so sweet. Anyway, we've still got a few things we need to discuss with Rosie here. Over lunch? I hope you don't mind, Isabel. We'd love to take you with us, but... Oh! No, 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 no! Go ahead, ma'am! This'll take time! That's why there's two of us working on this. Oh, wonderful. I hope the next time the three of us meet, it'll be over a closed deal, hmm? Of course, ma'am. Please look forward to it. but I feel like it's because of the light.
Isabella, a word before I go? Zachary hasn't been really forthcoming with your situation, and it is something I understand it wasn't his to share. But whatever burdens you, know that it's not a permanent fixture in your life. Besides, you have people to bear it with. Okay, thanks. Say, do you want to go somewhere? Right now? Where to? Anywhere in the city. I'll leave it up to you. Uh, you know what? Um, before we... Oh, never mind. You know what I'll do? I'll click one and I'll just chill out with the other things. Let's do this. I want to go and hang out, obviously, since I want pro points. Oh, it can't do negative. Did we? No. Okay. Maybe some other time, Zach. I know you have some freelance work scheduled after this. Oh. And I know you're just trying your best to cheer me up. I'm really thankful for that. But I need some time for myself, too. To think about things. I got it. Sorry if it comes off as a bit pushy. You're not pushy at all! I do appreciate it. It actually feels like having a second older brother. Ah, uh, see? I do my friendship goals right there. It's back. just that you have problems of your own, and all this time, everything about today... What I want to say is you don't have to worry about me every time something comes up. Is this a case of my pseudo little sister growing up? I think I might tear up a little. <laughs> don't laugh at me. I gotta grow up at some point, right? Okay, okay, I'm not laughing anymore. I got where you're coming from. But at least let me accompany you back to the city before I head off. Oh my god, he's such a sweetheart. He didn't give me negative relationship points. He's such a sweetheart. He's a chill. It's not like we have another choice considering how far off this place is. And it's a win for me because I won't have to pay for the full fare. I'm not sure if it's Ashton's attitude towards money rubbing off you, or you're really like that. Don't <laughs> compare me to him! It's called budgeting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, where are we at this point? Ah, we're back to the cat. Very thin. So, let's look at a journal before we go on. Uh, this part is the same. There's no difference. Yeah? We went for the movie. Then, the family, the call, yeah. We saw the ghost. Yeah, we go to the church. It's warm and approachable person, especially among the youth. Cool. Here yeah, we went to the mansion and we met them. Okay, so that's about it. Interesting. So let's load back to this and let's get ourselves a positive Zachary interaction. Yeah? Ugh, this place really gives me the creeps. It doesn't seem more than an ordinary house to me, though. Damn, I should've brought my camera with me. I saw a few areas that'd be good for a shoot. You think the new owners will allow it? Shh, what if you catch something? Or someone in one of the pictures? Hmm, maybe that explains Zachary's connection to this place, you know? Photography session. <laughs> it just means they want to be seen, doesn't it? D don't ask for it! It's not like we can stop them if they do. You're really not helping, Zack. All right, all right, sorry. Don't worry. I don't think whatever's inside this house will do anything. I'm here, yeah? I'll take care of them. Or I think I can. Please don't die, Zack. You're not that scary, but thanks. I'll be sure to run behind you if I see one. Uh. Yeah, so this part seems to be the same. We have a positive Zachary interaction. That's so cool. Let's just skip right ahead. Okay, this all seems to be the same. All that is done. We have another choice. Yeah. And here's where we have a. It wouldn't hurt. 
I've got some stuff I need to buy. Groceries. And there's a shop I want to check. Is it real food this time? Let me guess. Rebecca? She's just worried about you. Even I can't eat that much instant noodles. I thought, didn't they say it before? And it is the bad I said it before. Her instant noodle eating days are over. Think of it as a talent. Let's just go, Zach. Oh, she's completely forgotten about it. Oh, interesting. We go to the bar. Mm -hmm. I don't need to know all this. Noise. <laughs> Sorry, the line was really long. Really long. Uh, you didn't have to run. Sit down first. I like the words that. Nah, I, I'm, I'm good. Didn't want to make you wait for these. Ah. Uh. I like how it's donuts and no, cinnamon rolls. I like how like this light work is and it's just glowing. Like oh my god, is that focus oh, on that? Oh my god, it's a nice nice treat. I'm gonna go and eat some sweets after this. So good. He looks so adorable, like holding like a proud big brother. Like look what you got. Yeah. And she's just like, oh my god! What for? An apology. And as thanks for yesterday and the other day. Why are you apologizing? You did nothing wrong, Zach. You don't have to buy me anything, Zach. You were upset. You haven't been yourself recently, and people kind of miss that, you know? Oh, it's because that's the way he brushed things off. Are you just saying that, or...? No, really. Rebecca told me. You know how she is. Ashton, too. Ashton was an ass. He should have been named Ashhole instead. He went a little overboard, yeah. I can talk to him if you want. He'll still tease me about it, even if it's Rebecca telling him to stop. Besides, I can handle him. You always do. And yesterday, when you talked me through my little slump, I thought, hey, I want our old Isabella back. Are you... Are you still upset? No, man. Thanks a lot for today, Zach. You didn't have to, but you did. I can always count on you. Just me? No Ashton or Rebecca? Oh boy, they won't be happy to hear that. I don't mind being the favorite, though. Nope, no favorites. But you cook better than both of them, so that's a plus. <laughs> it's always been fool with you, ain't it? Don't put it like that. You're making me sound like a glutton. I'm not saying you are. But it does feel good to know there's someone I can invite for food to be able to eat all of it. Only that? I thought we were also art buddies. Oh, well, that too. Uh, but the food thing really stands out when you think about it. You do eat a lot for someone your, uh, size. Okay. Low blow. I take pride in my height. So, uh, is it okay now? Do you feel better? Does... Does it still scare you? A little. I'll be okay. I'll... I'll figure it out, somehow. It's not as bad as the other day. And Father Norman helped, too. I should have brought something to thank him. Oh, we could visit him anytime. He loves hearing from the young ones. He isn't that old, is he? Don't know. He doesn't tell. I think I might have seen his face somewhere before. I just couldn't recall when or where. Ash says he looks like his boss, so the bartender at the local pub if he squints. What? Okay. Don't take his word for it, of course. He might have accidentally inhaled something from the forensic lab again when he said that. What the hell? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you need anything, just ring, okay? Like when Ash annoys you too much. 
I'll help you with him, best friend or not. No way. I can take him on. Still an extra muscle wouldn't hurt, yeah? Just let me know, and I'll back you up. My sister knows this one thing to shut him up when he's being his usual self. Ask me what it is whenever you want, and I'll spill it. I don't think that's necessary, but thanks. Bye. I'll keep that in mind. Why won't you tell it to me now? Noise. Okay, and um, let's see our journal status. Now we finished all this. Okay, it's pretty much the same. So what we'll do is, um, since I feel like that interaction with the priest must have meant some changes for Hannah and Luke's relationship, considering that terrible remark by whom I thought might have been best boy. Best boy is apparently probably racist. Um, so we have that issue. So maybe there might be an issue with their relationship status. We'll come to know in the next chapter, I guess, if I think. But like I said, I want to go with the professor route instead. It's been nice. Mm. Clearly, I can't get Rebecca beyond this line, which is such a shame. But hey, we can work things out. Um, so, I think with that we're done. Yeah. Okay, she just buys her art supplies and gets done with it. And then you start off with the Beruti, right? Yeah. So, let's um, go back to movies. Yeah. And meet with the professor. I'll think about it. But if ever, I'd like to give talking to Andrew a try. Cool, cool. And now we'll just go on all the way to the end, yeah? Where are we now? We're here. So I think till now everything is taken up except for the non-professional route. Except for that one. And the negative interaction with Marianne. Yeah? We're on good terms with Marianne for now. And the... Whatever that is, I guess. Anything else? No. What? What? God damn it, laptop. I'm clicking the branching tree. There we go. And yeah, now we'll be getting this shoot because I chose Ashton's suggestion, yeah? So we'll be getting that. I do not know how this affects things, but okay. What's the difference between the two? We'll see afterwards. Anyways, um, so we'll be getting this part, yeah? Again, the difference where we meet the professor and we have choices with the professor. God damn it, there was another scene. Uh, what was the scene? Excuse me, the creeps. Nothing. What was it? We went both ways. I think it's the unprofessional route where Hannah's not fond of us or something. Maybe, maybe. Anyways, we'll just go on. Is this. that okay? Won't he have other things to do? He is a bit busy, but he'll make time for me. He's my go to person when I'm stuck in something. He won't mind if I bring a friend with me this time. If you're, if you're sure. I guess, guess that settles it then. Guys, I said keep it down. If you keep insisting that we still watch it. You're not even paying attention yourselves! It ain't a big deal, Rebecca. I'm the one who broached the subject in the first place. Cuckoo. And yeah, we don't got any negative with Zachary, but we're still high up with Zachary. Rebecca, I have a feeling it's the same dialogue, common root dialogue, we'll just get this much. Ashton, we got a boost. Would Ashton reach up? Let's see. With Zachary, we didn't get a full bar. We got a full bar with Rebecca, though. With Marion, we were close enough. That's good to know. It's still your film, Zachary. Zachary. A good film, mind you. No, all this is the same. Let's skip. Okay. Well, this looks the same. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Malakal. It's the same. The Rose Hall, same. Office, we get some money. Yes, we rich. Yes, we can go on. Yes, we meet. Yeah, food. My instant ability is over. Let me do that again. again. Guess what, guys? Yeah, bang, it's in the house. Blah, blah, blah. We talk about the terrible movie review. I mean, good movie, shitty review. We do this. We see the ghost. We scream. Not we, Isabella. There we go. We are back in the house. And now we expect Ashton to call us. Thank you so much for spamming my inbox, scared cat. Hey, what kind of a greeting is that? Hey, Ash. What's wrong? I just had a long day. The couple who bought the house wanted us to finish the process of the papers within the week. It's a little hectic, but we'll manage. Really? You sold it? Don't sound so surprised. I told you, you don't stand a chance. The rights, the rights won't take no, no for an answer. answer. You've been on the losing end from the very start. Ha! Whoever said I was interested in the house in the first place? But you said... <coughs> You're such an ass. And just so you know, I'm not treating you to a separate celebration. Or ever. Oh yeah, we got the plus Zach and plus Rebecca for that comment in the comment group. No, that's just unfair. And here I was looking something up for you. Didn't you say you wanted to talk to Andrew? Is he... is he okay with that? Totally. Besides, I need to ask him about something. I might as well do it soon. What do you say you come with me tomorrow morning? Well, there's no harm in it, I suppose. I've got a free day anyway. Great, oh. I'll just pick you up. Don't oversleep. Don't compare me to you. I'm not the one who sleeps like a rock. <laughs> And, uh, Isabella? Yeah? Did you forget something? Are you... Do you think you... <clears throat> Never mind. Good night. Dude, this is like a cop-out. Second time of an art wrong. First time we did in the car. That's when I realized there's something up. How would she understand it? Good morning, Ash! Can you even drive? <laughs> Another difference between you and me, Isabella. While we may be shorter, you love morning, so I don't. But didn't you sleep in the other day? Hmm. <laughs> Hold on, scaredy cat, not too fast. That hurts! What was that for? Get yourself together, will you? He's not going to bite. He's very accommodating, too. I wasn't scared of him or anything. You don't look like it. Didn't sound like you were okay last night either. What was that last one? Hey! Don't just ignore me! He just went like zoop off the screen. (laughs) 
Professor Clark. It's just Andrew now. I'm no longer your professor, Detective Inspector Frey. Hmm, okay. Have you been waiting long? Quite some time, but I come here early on weekends. Best time to get their first serving of bear claws. <laughs> They're the only place that serves it here. I took the liberty of ordering for you two. I hope you don't mind. I thought it'd be best to talk over a decent helping of coffee. Aren't you going to introduce the lady? Ah, right, sorry. Isabella, this is Prof. Andrew. He's one of my professors back at the university. Andrew, this is Isabella Santos. Santos? Portuguese? Spanish? Brazilian? Mexican? Hey, off, bro. I'm Filipina. Filipina, actually. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Ah, your name carries a lot of history, Miss Santos. Just Andrew is fine. Don't do what Ashton's doing. He doesn't listen to this old man. Opposite. I actually thought the professor would be the young dude and the priest to be an old dude. They, they just like switch to them both. Ashton tells me there's something you wish to discuss that I could help with. Let's hear it then. I'm sure it's that letter See? I found. This is the best choice, you know why? Professionalism is still maintained. I don't take strangers to the house. Like what I did with the priest then. I mean, it'd be obvious that Hannah would hate it. And so would Luke. But I don't know anymore. I just want to know how to escape this nightmare. Of course. We're talking about the one in Anselm Village, aren't we? How did you... <laughs> don't look so surprised. There's only one place popular enough here if we're going to talk about hauntings. I once had a colleague who wrote about it and the urban legends surrounding the place. Years worth of study, but fascinating. It's a shame he passed away at such a young age. He would have done a much better job at explaining topics like this one compared to me. Ashton here might disagree, but it's an interesting topic in sociology, if you care to have an open mind. Studying the science and theory behind it is completely different from outright believing in it. You don't believe in those stories, sir? Now, now, this isn't a question of belief. All I'm saying is things like these speak a lot about a place's culture and history, and it's not just limited to ghosts. Monsters, gods, you name it. Even you, Miss Santos. W what about me? How you respond to these stories. It tells a lot about you and your upbringing. In the same way it tells me why our detective inspector here finds such topics absurd. Interesting, isn't it? There's still something you're not telling. Didn't I tell you everything the other day? Yeah, but you mentioned the rights. Then you proceeded to drop the topic right after. What's with that? They don't have anything to do with this. Rights? Luke and Hana right? Yeah, they're the ones who got the place. Ah, uh, I'm not surprised. They're the kind who gets what they want when they set their eyes on it, from what I've heard. Word gets around. Wow, I can just be rude to him instead of shut up in front of the professor. You know what? I don't need this. Yeah. So, I know he's trying to help, so we'll keep it at that. He's a detective, it's his nature to be curious, and he might be interested in Isabella. That's why he's all the more curious. He just wants to help out. So, we'll take this one into deep interaction. Shut up, Ashton! You're avoiding the question again. They're just my clients! Yeah, you mentioned that. But that doesn't mean... And I see no reason why you should be suspicious of them. Everyone has a reason to be. I'll... You can't just go tell people oh. to avoid them. At least tell me why. I, I, I kind of skipped that line by mistake. So in their fight, still not a huge drop of negative. Interesting. Can't. Will you just listen to me? Can you even hear yourself? You're not making sense! <laughs> Hmm. 
Now, now, kids, settle down. We're not going to solve anything by shouting. Sorry, Sir Andrew. And we're not going to solve anything either if you keep omitting things. Speak for yourself. I'm not the only one doing it. You'll have to forgive my former student, Miss Santos. He's always been the curious kind. Many people think he's lazy, but it's actually the opposite. <laughs> I see that hasn't changed. He's the assistant guy. Oh, really? How is he back when he was your student? I'm sorry, I need to ask. He doesn't talk much about that. And there's a reason why. Please don't. No, please do. <laughs> Tried to sleep on the first day of class. Nice. He didn't repeat it after what I made him do when I caught him. Students like him are the easiest to deal with, once you know what piques their interest. I'd have to say, he's one of the very few who is actually interested in the subject, though. Ah, but there was this one time when... One sec. Hold that thought. Ah, there's one more butterfly thingy to look out for, so... Then we can get back to the other option. Nice. Look, damn it, we didn't get this to it. Oh wow, that's like opposite of Isabella. She's an amazing singer. She's good at art. She was interested in that. And she likes monarchs. Opposites do attract. Miss Santos, a word of advice. Just keep in mind that when it comes to cases such as this, they aren't always what they seem. <laughs> nice achievement. I thought she's a ghost, but... Okay. Where are we going? You can drop me off at the park. Guess. You have three chances. I'm serious, Ash. Where are we going? Still not going ahead. Okay. <laughs> More like a dog. Uh, then he's successful in that case. Here, take it. What is it? What's this for? Damn, what's with it? What's with the food? God damn it. Looks cute. Five, four, three. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Saw the place open the other day when we watched Zack's movie. Thought I should give it a try. It doesn't seem like a bad place to get food from time to time. And you're giving me free ice cream because... Do I need to have a reason? Are you really going to ask me that? I, uh, the other day, the movie with Zack and Rebecca, Rebecca's there, yeah, I think so, yeah. Because Rebecca was barely in the conversation. Anyway, during the movie, we, uh, that is, you, that's to say, you, uh, we, uh, shit, should have written down something first. Get to the point, Ashton. Right, I'm sorry. That blessing's hard, you know. N not I'm sorry for, you know, not getting to the point. I'm sorry for the other day. Uh, I got carried away. I said things that upset you. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay? That's all? That's all you're going to say? Uh, yeah. Because I'm disappointed it was not the other confession I was waiting for. But then again, I guess our relationship ain't that great yet. Still less than Rebecca when she's mad at me. We need to get beyond Rebecca at this point. You're not still angry, are you? You didn't have to buy me anything. A simple sorry would have been enough.
Thanks, Ash, for today. No problem. Say hi to Rebecca for me. Yeah, I will. Wait, Belle. Here, catch. What? My mom used to make me carry around one of those when I was young. To ward off evil and bring you luck, she said. I don't believe in this stuff now, but if it makes you feel safe since you're a total scaredy cat, then I guess it's okay to give you one to carry around. Oh, thanks, man. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I want to go for Yona bad after all because she keeps teasing and saying that to him. So I'll go with this for now and yeah. When I'm loading again, I can always choose the other one, so. See, you can be pretty nice when you're trying. I am nice. When you're sleeping, but thanks for this. There's no difference? Oh, no difference, okay. Don't go losing it. It brings bad luck if you do. Okay. Wait, are you serious? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. You did this on purpose, didn't you? Oh, I should have known. Not entirely, but seriously, if something, anything happens, tell me. I'll be around. Uh -huh. seems to be the same so let's load yeah he's trying to help Ashton look here I know you're trying to help but the deal's almost already closed the papers are being prepared once it's done it's over I'm just their agent and when is that happening when what is there even a purpose to this line of questioning your working relationship with them When's it going to end? About a week from now? It depends on how long the papers will take, but they want us to rush it. Really? You're absolutely sure about that? Does he want us away from the rights now that I think about it? Yes, really. Unless they want to buy a house again and want me and Rose to be their agent. If yes, then I don't see a problem with it. Now stop annoying me about it. Don't accept it. What? Why? It's my job. He is against the rights. So means that even he did come to the open house, he was actually following the rights. But why? Hmm. Now, now, kids, settle down. We're not going to solve anything by shouting. Yeah, we don't care. I mean, I'm not bothered about that. But we can just go right ahead. Yeah. I think the rest of this is the same. Yeah, it is. So we'll just wait for the options. We're not bad after all. Hey, we got it. It's not maxed out though. Damn it. I thought it would be maxed out. But no, not possible. It's still less. I mean, we started off with a lower rank, anyways. Marianne and Ashley had a similar ranking stage. Eric and Zach were pretty close in the beginning. Interesting. Oh, this is so cute. Oh. Can I just end the episode here on this? This looks so cute. I like how Ashton looks in this. And Isabella too. Whoever drew this scene, kudos to them. This looks so cute. Ah. Okay, okay, thanks. Uh, 
I, uh, gotta go. Got some reports I forgot to file the other day. Yeah, see you around. Thanks for the ice cream and the charm. Don't lose it. You won't find one here again if you do. I won't. I might move like I have two left feet, but I know how to take care of my own stuff. I'm not a total klutz. <laughs> I know. In Bell, remember that one time, Devlin Court? Oh, do we get the details on it? You... At the time, when we... What I'm trying to say is that you can rely on me if something... anything happens. Not the exact same thing, of course, but... You get the idea. I'll be around. I like how the voice acting is done. Quite damn, I'm saying this again. The change in the story. It's nice. I'll keep that in mind. You're not that bad after all. She gets us of the art supplies. So that's common with all the cases. She gets art supplies at the end. Now let's see what's changed. Um, now this is going to be the same. This is pretty much the same, except this new page. Nice drawing. And Asha looks nice. And had a nice talk. Okay. All right. Um, I feel like I should stop the episode here. Uh, but I know we are so close to the ending. So um, what I think we'll do is um, we'll have this thing. I mean the continuation and the endings in the next video along with showing off what we have for the next route so i think next video will be one of the shortest most likely but hey what else uh, can be done about that yeah because i feel if i add all of this it's going to be a bit too much so we'll keep it like four episodes i guess for chapter one it's fair enough so with that, goodbye.